three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, I wanted to thank all the comments of those who recently communicated their passion and esteem for this series and the more adult and skeptical approach that we have respect to the material that is provided on the web. This is our goal, to make you reflect on something that not even our staff has been able to explain. If you are new and like this content, subscribe and press the bell to receive notifications on new videos. Let's start this 15th episode right away from our usual third position. The Walk of the Dark Shadow Recently, a very interesting and disturbing video appeared on YouTube, and the paranormal community has begun to consider its veracity. We are in Shepherdstown Graveyard, a famous cemetery within a municipality in the United States of America, located in the state of West Virginia, in Jefferson County. On October 11, 2021, a guy usually dedicated to publishing video games and gameplays on his YouTube channel called Codename Via Z posted this video shot during the Shepherdstown Ghost Tour. And they said we can come to the graveyard ourselves and see people one time to be uh, trying to capture anything. Alright, where are you? Give me a sign that you're here. Something. Anything. Anything at all. The author of the video, after having said a few words with the intention of stimulating the entities of the place to reveal themselves, films what appears to be a dark shadow of a humanoid figure, walking from right to left. Back home, he analyzes the video shot by him and his friend on his computer and explains that there is no explanation for the appearance of this dark shadow. There is a perimeter wall that should have cut the hypothetical projection of a human shadow passing in front of the flashlight. He asked, can you show me something? So we, we called it out pretty much. So uh, I'll, I'll kind of point it out on the screen when it stops. So he pans over to the right. Anything. Right there. So let me go back. Go back again. Anything. Right here. That. This, whatever this is, which I'm going to say it's an entity. Definitely a shadow figure. And, I, and I'll explain why I think that. <clears throat> so this is walking so now that you know where to look right here i'll rewind it a little bit so you guys can see that it's walking anything and it stops so there it is again and he'll pan back over to the right and it's still standing there anything at all so right there another thing that i pointed out that i wanted to, to address is there's no light here there would have to be a very bright light to cast a shadow that dark. Anything. And I was trying to prove that it wasn't, you know, something or somebody. Anything. So if you look right there, it's going through. This is not a solid person. This is nothing. So by some chance, I had a light that bright, which I don't. You can see that there's no light here that's that bright. Okay. I would not have seen the top half of him. I would only seen the bottom half because of the wall. Because the shadow would have had somewhere to hit here, but not here. Surely the author made a careful analysis and it is really difficult to attribute this apparition to a normal event. And you? What idea have you got of this dark shadow? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. The Abandoned Underground Shelter In second position this week, the paranormal investigator Bono returns, who on October 18, 2021 posted on his YouTube channel ILMN Bono Paranormal a video shot inside a military bunker in the forest near the city of Ostrava, Czech Republic. The bunker built before Second World War to protect Czechoslovakia against Nazi Germany, is a place that has seen numerous deaths due to German attacks. The inhabitants of the area who have visited this place tell of strange noises coming from the underground rooms. So I've been in this place like two times, I think two times, and I arrived here like 10 minutes ago and I already checked quickly if there's anyone, like a homeless person or someone that could attack me when I'm filming, so there is no one, I hope. 
Bono begins to explore the bunker, moving from one corridor to another, from one room to another, and strange noises are heard which he himself attributes probably to come from the forest. But when he arrives in the office area, things get really scary. Freak, that scared me. Is that... Hello? Okay, so... No way this... It's not plugged in. Bono realizes that that paranormal event does not bring anything good, so, after having locked himself in a room for fear, he decides to leave that area. When he finds himself in a series of as yet unvisited tunnels, another paranormal event appears before him. But... No... Okay, that... I saw it moving and I... Just completely... Visibly frightened, he escapes to find himself in another office area where he finds two other phones, but this time no paranormal phenomenon disturbs him. However, as soon as he leaves that area he does not notice that darkness is coming, there is no cell phone signal, so he is in great danger. Okay. I have to go for my stuff. In the comments of the video, someone points out that as soon as he turns the corner, a dark shadow at the end of the corridor seems to be spying on him. Nobody knows if it's a homeless person, someone trying to play a joke on them or something inexplicable. So... <sighs> it is a place full of really interesting history, and Bono has promised his followers to return very soon, and we will also be here to follow his investigations as usual. Of course we do not recommend venturing alone in these places, there are really big dangers for your safety that can come from the action of some ill-intentioned man but also from the unknown. Substation 9 At the top of our weekly ranking, we will talk about a very sad story, a death at work. A user named Thulahoop, of the Parawatch Wiki Forum, on February 2, 2016 started posting a series of videos and pictures of his workplace. The guy is a security guard of an electrical company who supplies power to a dozen warehouses and production complexes and his job is to monitor the progress of electrical stations and substations. The story concerns one of these complexes in the middle of the countryside on the outskirts, substation number 9. The area was flooded by the malfunction during the construction of a dam, so many houses that had underground were abandoned, and the substations suffered serious damage for flooding. Of course, the stations are filled with extremely sensitive high-voltage equipment. The security guard checks that submerged floats and pumps are working properly to avoid these flooding. In the forum post the user also reports this note which I think is particularly interesting, when you are hired for the first time, the veterans all tell you the same thing, do not mess around in the basements, don't wander, don't explore, get off, do your job, get on, watch where you put your feet, and always carry two torches. We are talking about miles of underground without ever seeing the light. The user Thulahoop Guard responds to forum comments from many septics who do not understand the exaggerated reason for having to carry two flashlights. It does this by posting a video demonstrating how dark it is without light. Let's see together. And here the story becomes more and more bleak, because our security guard tells the tragic disappearance of John, a very intelligent colleague and good with numbers, a reserved and quiet type. Due to a thaw, a lot of water entered the substation so John tried to activate some pumps that had been out of use for decades and managed to solve things until late spring. But during a shift change between him and John, when John was supposed to get off in the morning for working the night hours, he didn't show up. 
It was gone. After calling the police and searching for a month 30 feet underground, still no sign of John. Ed, another colleague managed to find John's phone in substation 9, but from the log journal, John was not even supposed to go near this substation. These are the photos taken by his phone. Phil, the oldest of his colleagues says that most of the photos are of areas that no one has ever seen before. All the security guards decided to have a meeting to talk about the incident, Patrice says that on at least three different occasions, he heard something like muffled old-time radio music playing from below. He didn't recognize the song, but says it was the same all three times. Phil, one of the veterans, claims he once saw a pale naked boy crouched in one of the tunnels. Two new hires said they heard knocking and screaming on the other side of a sealed door, several doors below are welded together, and both quit. The group decided to turn over John's phone to the police. The police have ordered to dry all the water inside the substation 9. Finally the police find a body, but it was not John's, his colleague Patrice and two other workers decide to quit. Before quitting, Patrice gives one of his videos to our storyteller, our security guard and user Thulahup who, as his last post in the forum, publishes this creepy video. Have you seen it? In the left part at the back of the room a disturbing dark shadow with head, shoulders, and an arm appears for a few seconds in front of the camera and then disappears completely. We will never know how John died under that station, and if today there are still these patrols since 2016. Surely this is a place where you would not want to be alone, unarmed, and without light. If you want to see the whole story of Substation 9 with full videos, I leave you the link in the description. See you next week with a new episode, follow us as usual on our social channels, subscribe and if you appreciate this video leave a like, thank you for watching, good night.